You guys are watching the Cowboys Report. I am Tom Danny with the trades of Stephon Gilmore, of Brandon Cooks. The Cowboys draft plans have gone from, we need a corner, no, we need a receiver, we need this, whatever, to they could maybe just go straight BPA if they can fix one or two other holes. So in round one, who do you want the Dallas Cowboys to take? I'm going to break down my fairly lengthy list here on the show, but sound off for me in the comments section. Who do you want to draft in round one? Let's start with some names who shouldn't get to you, but if they do, got to have the conversation, right? That's Jalen Carter first up. He could slide in the NFL draft due to his off-field stuff. Uh, he showed up out at, of at, at shape for his pro day. Had, of course, the, the uh, car crash, reckless driving that killed one of his teammates in a recruiting staff for Georgia that he was involved in there, which is just heartbreaking and unfortunate. I think Jalen Carter is going through some tough times right now. I feel bad for the person, for the team, if he does slide to you, that should actually be a bigger concern because why is everyone else passing on him? It's like the Reuben Foster thing potentially all over again. Offensive linemen. I think the top two guys are Peter Skaronsky out of Northwestern and Paris Johnson Jr. from Ohio State. They should not be there. They should not make it to you. If they do, yes, uh, I think that is a sprint to the podium. Congrats, Tyron Smith. Now you are our swing tackle. Nolan Smith, next up, who tested off the charts good at his at the combine, freak athlete there. I doubt gets to you. Same like Tyree Wilson is not going to get to you, right? Some of the other bigger defensive players up there, Will Anderson is not going to get to you. I think Nolan Smith's in that next tier. I don't think that Lucas Van Ness, that Miles Murphy, etc., get to you. I think Van Ness and Murphy could easily both go top twenty, and they're off the board if they slide. It's probably a conversation worth having. Van Ness, kind of a George Karloftis type. Murphy is still more upside than production, et cetera. Um, he's a freak athlete. is really impressive there, too. But big difference there in the pressure rate. Van Ness has no real pass rush plan. Probably a guy going to be off the board for you. I would think Brian Branch is gone. And had you not retained Donovan Wilson, I would have been on the Brian Branch at 26 hype train. Since he's back, if he's there, I'll probably do it. Uh, but I doubt he ends up getting to you. So some bigger name defensive pieces that I'm a big fan of that probably aren't going to make it to you. Let's get then to the name that everyone wants to talk about. The number one Cowboys draft conversation piece, right? B. John Robinson is going to be a top five player on most non-positional value adjusted draft big boards. He is awesome football player, can pretty much do it all. Any of his cons, you're kind of nitpicking there, just as good of a prospect as the Zeeks, as the Saquons. But the league has changed. The positional value for running backs is not what it once was. If he's there, though, at 26, he will be the best player on the team's big board. So in that event, would you draft Bijan Robinson at number 26? Why for yes and for no? Sound off for me in the comment section. You know, Jameer Gibbs, who actually put Brian Branch's face on there. My bad. Uh, Jameer Gibbs might be a nice piece for you. Athletic, dynamic, running back in the Alvin Kamara mold. But, again, do you want to draft running back in the first round? I'm not so sure. Now, with the trade for Stephon Gilmore, cornerback is no longer as big of a need. In the event somehow that Christian Gonzalez, Devin Witherspoon, Joy Porter Jr., whoever it ends up being, slides to you in round one, you still make the pick. Uh, good chance they're all gone top 15 or sooner. Maybe JPJ could slide. Uh, I, I would take them, but I think they're going to be gone. So th those were my pipe dreams earlier. Now they're in okay shape. Now if you are a fan of the NFL Draft, make sure you're subscribed to our NFL Draft YouTube channel. This will be the pinned comment, actually, on today's video. Go subscribe, youtube.com slash chat NFL. The quarterback conversation, the receiver conversation, it's the exact same thing. Better chance that one of these guys gets to you, Jordan Addison, Quinton Johnston, Jackson Smith in Jigba could slide to pick number 26 because of the value, because you can move on from Cooks after a year and who knows about Jalen Tolbert. If one of them gets to at 26, I would have no complaints making that pick. Let's talk offensive line now. And depending on what else they do in the coming days and weeks, O-line could be an easy fallback option for the Dallas Cowboys. I am a big fan 
of Osiris Torrance. I love his game. I know he's not the best athlete, but he's a mauler in the run game. I think play left guard for now, and maybe down the road kick over to, to the right side to replace Zach Martin. Now, Steve Avila is more of a typical left guard. Has some center background, but he's going to play guard in the NFL, I believe. I think this. I think he and I'll go with John Michael Schmitz here too. Are the you got washed out with all your players? All the guys you wanted were gone. They went with the first twenty-five picks. You're just you're you're the, the board got got picked over. You're just taking the best lineman for you. I think Steve Avila, John Michael Schmitz could fit that category. Schmitz plays guard for a year, takes over at center. Avila could be your ultimate fallback pick in round one. Uh, Broderick Jones, next up here, out of Georgia. I think he's gone early, but he could be a left tackle option for you. Darnell Wright, and I'll go with Dewan Jones here, back-to-back -back out of Ohio State. Uh, potential later round one picks. Jones, I think more in the second round for me. Uh, at right tackle, if you do not trust Terrence Steele long-term, which I think the Cowboys do, the rehab's gone pretty well, those two players then start to make some sense in the back end of round one. But I would not be surprised if one of those interior linemen end up being the round one pick. Dallas loves to get the best player at their position in the draft in, in round one. Those first three names they would claim would satisfy that requirement, whoever it would end up being. What is your confidence level here in the Dallas Cowboys' ability to just draft good football players? Overall... Yeah, it's better than most teams, but maybe not quite a 10. Sound off. Confidence level in the Cowboys when it comes to drafting. 1 to 10 in the comment section. Let's talk tight ends here. All four. Michael Mayer, Dalton Kincaid, Darnell Washington, Luke Musgrave. Four potential round one picks. Now, I bet one of them is gone, if not two of them are gone, come your time on the clock. Uh, Michael Mayer is your best in-line Prototypical Witten-esque tight end. He can block, he can catch. He's a good enough athlete, not a premier one. Dalton Kincaid as a pass catcher is really good. Uh, both those guys had great production at Utah. He offers you some seam-stretching ability. Uh, he's been linked quite a bit to Dallas as of late. Darnell Washington is has been one of my guys. Producer Patrick knows. Been on him for a while. The size is unbelievable. He is a... Almost, if, if, if you want a great blocker, here you go. Uh, tested off the charts, great too, but limited production. Uh, a little stiff uh, to an extent in the film, but he tested like, like it wasn't stiff, so that makes me feel better there. I would have, I, I think he's going to be great. I, I, I would gamble on him in the back end of round one. I don't love Luke Musgrave as much. Athletic freak at tight end. Limited production, some drops, and a lot of small sample size there. But if you want a great tight end in round one, these are your guys to pair with Ferguson Hendershot and have some fun with multiple tight end packages. With all the moves the Cowboys have made, I am more interested now in gambling on one of these defensive tackles. And Kalijah Kansi is an outlier for this team. In a class full of outliers, Kansi is profoundly undersized. He is smaller than Aaron Donald, but he's a fantastic athlete at his size. I, I would have some interest in, in taking him if the board falls a potential way for you in, in the class. But there, there, are, there, there are concerns there with the size. That, that has to be acknowledged there. Mozzie Smith, meanwhile, bigger body. He's a fatty, but he's a good athlete too. Offers some burst. Has not yet put it together as a pass rusher. I'd feel better about him in round two than round one, but you're at the back of round one. It's not that different. Brian Brzee is a five-star recruit, great athlete, has not yet produced in the way he needs to. I would be scared of drafting him because he, 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 he could be great. He could also flame out pretty quickly, kind of like Javon Kinlaw to an extent. Drew Sanders at Arkansas, top linebacker this year. You could throw in a Trenton Simpson, Drew Sanders, whatever. Uh, Arkansas picked three times, or two times, two times from the Cowboys. It was uh, uh, Felix Jones and John Rick. Ridgeway, since the Jones boys took over, but Sanders is a, is a great athlete, um, long player too, offers some pass rush value, kind of reminds me of, of Anthony Barr to an extent. Now, if you want non-stop Cowboys coverage this offseason, then subscribe. Link to the bottom of your screen, don't miss out on anything here, whether it's Cowboys for agency or, of course, Cowboys draft coverage.
Some other back end of round one, slash maybe they fall into round two, edge targets, BJ Ojolari, Isaiah Foskey, Keon White. If you want to get another pass rusher, three names that stand out there. Uh, Will McDonald cannot, cannot rush the passer, or cannot stop the run, but he's a great pass rusher, excuse me. Felix Enudike Inu Yazama out of Kansas State. Cowboys met with him. I wonder if they're looking at some of these guys. Maybe one falls to you in round two, and it makes sense there. And then, toughest name in the class, Eddie Tamiwa Adabare, a.k.a. Tommy Adabare at a Northwestern. Undersized. Is he, a, is he a DT? Is he a defensive end? Is he a hybrid? He played a lot of edge for Northwestern. Really impressive athlete. Much like Clyde Kansi, fits the uh, size outlier mold. Some more names coming. But what position will the Cowboys draft in round one this year? Sound off for me in the comment section right now. Some more draft targets. And these five names would have been higher up on the, the list. We didn't really rank them, but they would have been mentioned a lot earlier if you hadn't traded for Stephon Gilmore and if you hadn't uh, traded for Brandon Cooks. You could still take a Zay Flowers, a Hyatt, two skinny guys who might not fit the Cowboys' more typical M.O. yet. The cornerbacks, Deontay Banks, Emmanuel Forbes, Cam Smith. Banks or Forbes I thought were great round one options, but now that you have Gilmore... Maybe you just take BPA. That could still be one of these guys. Maybe Banks or Forbes, even though Banks maybe didn't interview that great. And Forbes is, you know, 166 pounds, which is insane. But those guys could still be the best guy on your board. But now you don't have to take a corner or have to take, take a wide receiver. You can if you want to, but it's closer to pure BPA now for Dallas.